China is warning its neighbors in Southeast Asia not to support the United States. The Communist Party's deputy foreign minister called the United States a troublemaker and the biggest threat to peace in the South China Sea. Their deputy foreign minister also says China isn't afraid of trouble. Take note. Well, the U.S. State Department imposing tighter restrictions against Chinese diplomats in this country. They will have to now get permission before visiting U.S. colleges and universities or holding cultural events, so-called, with more than 50 people outside embassy grounds. Well, to take this up, State Department spokesperson Morgan Ortega is joining us tonight. Morgan, good to see you and to have you here. Uh, Thank you, Luke. The purpose of the, these restrictions, we now have 75 of the Confucius Institutes still right. in place. I talked with uh, Secretary of State uh, Mike Pompeo earlier this week. He said he would be happy if there were none here by the end of this year. Uh, is that yeah. the direction we're headed? Thank you so much for having me on, Lou. So if you look at what President Trump and Mike Pompeo are doing, it is to establish reciprocity in our relationship with China. So right now you were just talking about uh, Chinese diplomats in the U.S. They are treated... Uh, and fairly here. They're given free access. They can talk to state and local leaders. They could go to university campuses. Our American diplomats in China cannot do any of that. They have to receive permission. They have areas in China that they're not allowed to go, and, and they often don't get that permission. So we have engaged them uh, here at the State Department. We have said we would like all of our trip diplomats to be treated the same way in both countries. Since they have refused that, we have said, fine, your diplomats, your Chinese diplomats in the United States will have to get a approval before they meet with state and local leaders. Their social media accounts will be, need to be identified as government accounts. Meanwhile, this is the social media that they can't, that Chinese citizens don't have access to, and they're going to have to get approval for events. We would love for our American diplomats to have the same free and open access that Chinese diplomats have here, but so far the Chinese Communist Party has not allowed that.